because this relief can be life-changing, life-changing. The White House and Department of Education announced another $7.4 billion in federal student loans. This brings the total to $153 billion in forgiven student loans announced since last summer. According to the White House, this clears student debt for nearly 4.3 million borrowers. I will never stop to deliver student debt relief on hardworking Americans, and it's only in the interest of America that we do it. And again, it's for the good of our economy. It's growing stronger and stronger. However, the loans that are not repaid by borrowers fall on taxpayers. In addition to the $153 billion in loan write-offs, the Department of Education announced the Saving on a Valuable Education or SAVE plan to drastically reduce the amount future borrowers will have to repay. Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey is one of the Republicans who pledges to stop him by filing a lawsuit. Republicans across 18 states are calling to put an end to the SAVE plan. This is the fun part. Every day that goes by, did you know that across this country, thousands more people are getting that notice? They open up their inbox and they say, wow, I'm down to zero. Senators Chuck Schumer and Elizabeth Warren attempted to celebrate President Joe Biden's recent student loan forgiveness plan in an online video. That's a lot of people. That is four Massachusetts's. And four New York cities. Even better. <laughs> but it was met with backlash online. One post on X said elitists giving elitists on the backs of the working class socialism. Another touted, meanwhile, our interest payments on the debt have exceeded Social Security. And another said, buy those votes. Warren attended George Washington University when tuition cost $50 a semester.